Chris here from Tech Tab, that's something. Running a benchmark here was actually the stress test on CPU Z on both the X98 Pro here with its Cherry Trail Atom and then the Bay Trail X98 Air 3G here that's on the right. Now I've been running this benchmark now for about 13 minutes, well 20 minutes on the X98 Air and having a look at the temperatures. Hopefully you can see this in the video okay. You can see that the maximum temperatures here that the Bay Trail has got up to is 53 degrees. Now I've done no modifications to this tablet at all and I've actually modified the thermals. I put a copper heatsink on the X98 Pro because it was getting so hot. Something you should never have to do. Now that has gotten up to 65 degrees. I mean that's not bad now after my mod. Without the mod that would have gotten up to 86 degrees. But what's interesting to note here is the power consumption figures here that it's giving me. So if I have a look at the CPU package power, so this is both the GPU and the CPU, it's 1.3 watts there, consumption. And according to Battery Bar Pro here, so 5.4 is the discharge rate in total, including the screen and everything else. Now if I have a look at the x 8 Pro, on the other hand, it's 9 0.8 watts, so almost just on the double. And if we have a look at the power consumption here from the Cherry Trail, we can see that it's consuming the package 4.2 watts. So it's a lot higher there and consuming a lot more. Now I did comment on the battery life. I haven't run any full battery tests yet, but I noticed that I managed to get four hours of gaming out of this tablet. But even when I'm not gaming now, it's looking like it's still consuming, even here just running this stress test, all the cores are loaded up but the GPU isn't, you can see that it's still consuming almost double than the Bay Trail. Now I think there's something wrong with my unit, but I don't know until I get another X98 Pro to have a look at that temperatures and the power consumption on that one. But at this rate, the way it's going, if I have both of them on idle, and we have a look at the temperatures and the power consumption, it's still consuming almost twice as much. So the battery life is close to around seven and a half hours here on the X98 uh, 3G. Air 3G, what is that doing there? All blurred on the corner there. And, you know, it's just not very good, the Cherry Trail at the moment, at least in this tablet. Now, I reviewed a Cherry Trail tablet, the first one that came out, which was the Microsoft Surface 3, and I found that uh, the battery life on that was pretty good. It got about six and a half hours. And I didn't have any of those heat issues. Now that's from Microsoft, of course, and they got things really right. And they had the higher clocked uh, Atom X7. So it was running at 2.4 gigahertz. Now this is 2.24 gigahertz, sorry. And it will actually hold the clocks the whole entire time. So it'll, it'll have all four cores running at 2.24. And here on the Bay Trail, no, it clocks right, it clocks down a little bit, and it's actually running at one point, almost 1 1.6 gigahertz there on all four cores. So, you know, it clocks down quite a bit. So there's a big difference there in the clock speeds. And if you have a look, if I show you here, if you have a look, you can see the core ratio is 28. And that's been 28 the entire time because you have a look at the minimum and the maximum, 28, and the whole time, the 17 minutes that I've been doing this. And that's probably because of my thermal mod that's allowing it to do that now so I can get all four cores running really high there. And if you have a look at the Bay Trail here, it's been jumping around a little bit, but most of the time it's, it's currently, it'll it hold 19, so it's not too bad. And it'll hold that the entire time there. And it does to up to, to 2.6, the ratio, which gives it the... 2.16 gigahertz top turbo speed there. But overall, the uh, first model here, well, the Air 3G, it just seems to be a lot better at the moment. And I'm really hoping that it's just my one here is bad. But if not, things aren't looking so good for the X98 Pro. Okay, you've got double the RAM. It does seem a lot faster, but it's just when you start the game, that GPU is getting really hot and... It did throttle before, so I did the modification. I've got a video of that. Overall, I hope that the next one I get uh, has all that corrected. The next batch, the actual international release. This is the Chinese model, and so far, I'm not really too happy with it. That's why I haven't done the full review yet until I get the other model. Okay, so that's a look there at the thermals and the consumption there. Thank you for watching the video, and I hope you'll catch you in my next one. Bye for now.